All right, so what I have here is two compost piles, um, and they're ready to be flipped. Just made these, uh, I think, three or probably four, maybe five days ago. So what I'm going to do to flip them is I'm going to take the tops off of both. I'm going to make one pile out of these two now is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the tops off of them. And when you flip it, you got to make sure you get all the, loosen it up, get some air into it. So I'll take the top off. And by the top, I don't mean just the top section. I mean the outside section as well. So. I'll take the outside skim and off all the way around. Make sure I got plenty of air going in. This is about all for the outside, so now that that's out of the way, that top will be my new middle is what it's going to be. Um, So the middle is going to be the new bottom, the top is going to be the new middle, and the bottom is going to be the new top. So, and the whole way through, you got to break up the, you got to break it up the whole way through. I'm just, so right now I'm just going to put this pile right here, which isn't really where I wanted it to end up being, but it is what it is. I don't have, I don't have room to put it where I would like to. This middle section has already already went through the heat cycle. It's still plenty wet. I watered it good the other night when I made it. <clears throat> and then we had a good rain there the last couple days. And I never covered it. I probably should have, but I'll cover it this evening when I'm done.
So now that I got the middles put on the bottom, which this is now the new bottom, I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. I don't think maybe my base quite big enough, but it's going to be fine. Now I'll put I'll put the old top in the middle. So there's the new middle. Now I'll kick the sides in again. I'll probably break this top down just a little bit. It's still good and moist too. It's like I said earlier, it's doesn't need any water added to it. It's good. <clears throat> I'll kick the sides in a little bit. Just doing this for two reasons. One to keep its form. And two, so all the heat can go up through. Not out the sides. Seem to be this is the new middle. This is the this is what needs to be heated up now. And it's got a lot of residual heat from the what's the new how's the new bottom, which was the new was the old middle. This is the first flip on this. Of course these are two piles turning into one, but so pretty much all this is. The straw, wood chips, wood shavings. Um, from a friend of mine who has a wood shop. He gives me shavings out of his wood shop when he has um, straw, some hay, and some uh, grass clippings and chicken poop from their winter run. Of course, this was their winter run. Right now, I'm just aerating all the bottoms of this pile so when I put it on the big the main pile now it'll be good to go and the same with this and there is some um, charcoal in here too just burnt wood no coal just char um, and that will be biochar when it gets through this compost pile when it gets through the when it gets put in the garden it will be then biochar. It'll be bioreactive from the <clears throat> from the uh, compost and all the microbes and all your native microbes and whatnot. And from what I understand, and I've seen it myself actually, compost that you make is better than what you buy. And that's because it's already inoculated with everything. In your area when you bring it in from somewhere else it has their microbes in it they may not live here they may die off and then have to be re-inoculated with our microbes that's in our area um, I do buy a fair bit of compost I want to hopefully I don't have to actually I won't have to this fall with what I have left over from it and what I'm making I'll have plenty I want to be able to make my own just bringing in straw and hay ain't no big deal and the straw and hay I get isn't sprayed so went and got some hay oh uh, 
I don't know, probably two weeks ago. Or no, I'm sorry, I got straw a couple weeks ago. Sorry, I got straw. And when I was down there picking it up, I asked the farmer if he was going to have any this fall. He, he said he has a lot of oats in the ground already. He planned on having a lot of straw, so. And he doesn't spray his straw or hay, so. It's a pretty good resource to find in your area. And I found them on Facebook Marketplace. I've been using them for probably two years now. Probably. That pretty much sums this up, actually. It's a good bit of compost right there. I'm not sure how much it'll end up being, but I uh, learned this method from the permaculture consultant on YouTube. He's out of Texas. His family has a farm in North Carolina called Armor Pastures Farms, they're both on YouTube. His dad does a lot of this kind of stuff too. Um, I watch them both. But according to um, a permaculture consultant, you have to flip flip your pile this way three times. Your your tops, your middle your bottoms, your top, and your middle is your bottom three different times. That way everything gets runs through the heat cycle. Um otherwise otherwise you'll still have weed seeds and all that in there. This this way here, it'll kill most of your weed seeds and your all your uh bad any any pathogens or anything like that should die in this process. I I've never uh last year I made a hot compost pile once. With my chicken manure, this is really only the second time I ever did it, but this is the first time I did it this way. So we'll all learn this together. Um, but like I say, he's got a lot of good content on compost and whatnot. So I'm gonna check him out. Go ahead. But I'm gonna cap this with the tarp, and when I flip it again, I'll show you what it ends up looking like. The next time I flip, will probably three or four days. <laughs> 